Hey guys, so I'm about to go do some groceries, but I want to make a video real quick to talk about um, something that's been kind of uh, part of my life right now, um, is making goals. Um, okay, so, um, you know, it, it, right now I'm kind of like in a transition period in my life, graduated recently and everything, um, and it's easy to kind of like lose track of some of like your overall goals. Um, and that's easy to, like, that's going to happen anyway for, I mean, especially when we talk a lot about the Japanese learning on these channels. Uh, that's a big part of it, but not just that, but just things like, you know, staying fit um, and any other kind of, like, you know, making sure that my blog's being updated and stuff or my YouTube. Um, that kind of thing is kind of easy to sort of get lost. Um, and I, I don't want to. I want to sort of work on those. So, um... You know, there are a lot of like big goals that I want. I want to be able to get better at Japanese. I want to be able to maintain my YouTube channels. I want to get better at cooking. Um, so there's kind of like general things um, that I want to work on. But um, also something that I've been doing recently is working on very, very small goals. Um, and a lot of times they're part of a bigger goal, but um, basically either I'm just working on something small on the side or they're, they're the kind of the building blocks that leads to that bigger goal. Um, so what I've been doing is that I've been making goals every week. And um, I strongly kind of, I recommend that. What I usually do um, typically is I have this habit of kind of going through stages where I get super, super motivated and have all these things I want to accomplish and sort of organize everything and put my all into it. And then I take on so much and I just tend to kind of get burnt out. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is make that last longer by instead of trying to get all my goals done at once is to every week take on something new. And that could be taking on something new just for that week or it could last for much longer. And something that um, a tool that I'd like to share with you guys is this website called lifetick.com. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm um, trying to sign into it right now as I'm talking to you guys so I can have something to refer to. But um, it's a really great website where you have to, uh, you start out by sort of picking what are your values just in general. So the ones that I put is um, like learning Japanese, wellness, work, um, st stuff like that. And so you pick your values, and then after that, you, you create goals for yourself. And, you know, it, it relates to one of these values, and you have to sort of, you have to put, like, a, a time limit on it and make it very concrete. Um, and then you have those listed out, and, and then you create little tasks for each goal. Um, so I'll just kind of, like, give you an example. And do check out the website. Like, I do recommend it at least to check it out. There is, I think, a paid version or something, but I have the free version. I don't really know what benefits you get um, from the like full version, but I just have um, the free version and it's great. Um, so, so for example, I started out with a goal and I'm going to talk about this on my other channel. Actually, I'm working on uh, the Core 2000, which is, it's basically just a set of flashcards of Japanese vocabulary flashcards. Again, I'll go more in detail on how that works um, on Culture Quirk, but um, there's, I think 4,000, yeah, 4,000 flashcards to go through, and I'm doing them through Anki, and it's just, I'm doing uh, 40 a day. So uh, that's a lot, which means, you know, 40 a day, 4,000, that's 100 days that it would normally take. Um, and, and normally I would just jump into it and yeah, do 40 a day, but probably not actually get to all 40 a day, and it takes me longer, but I'm kind of like, ah, well, whatever. So here, I wanted to kind of like keep myself on track for that, so I created that goal of finishing the core 2000 and I set the date. Um, at the time that I set it, I think I had 89 days left. Um, so that's one of the things that I'm working on and, and so far so good. I have not missed a day yet where I haven't done all of my um, repetitions of those flashcards for the day. So um, that's just kind of like an example. And uh, another one I did was for wellness, doing floor exercises every day for 30 days um, for a month basically. And, um, and again, it just takes like, like five, 10 minutes out of my day to kind of do these floor exercises. It's just like simple, like leg work, ab work, um, very simple, uh, very minor. But again, it's something that normally, you know, I'd be like, oh yeah, I want to do this, but I either forget or I just, 
um, you know, don't have the motivation to one day. Where, so here, what's nice is I'm like, okay, it's just 30 days. Like, I can do that. I can, I can get myself um, to do it every day for 30 days. Like, it, it just makes it so much more concrete and doable. And once the 30 days are up, that doesn't mean it has to be over. I'll make another goal. Um, so... Um, anyways, do check out this website. One of the things that I really liked about it personally, uh, which is what I was looking for when I was looking for a website like this in the first place, is um, for each of your goals, so you put tasks underneath. So for the Core 2000, I have just like reps. And you can make it so that they repeat, so I have mine repeat every day. Um, or if you have a different type of goal that requires different types of tasks, then you write them out. Um, and then you check them off. Um, as, as you complete them. And what's really nice is that your entire goal has this sort of progress bar. So you can physically like see the progress as, as you go along. And I think that's what I was looking for the most because um, I just find progress bars very exciting, personally. Um, if you guys remember, I used to make my own on paper um, for, for like exercise stuff. So I don't know, that's, it makes it kind of like a game that way. So it, it's a lot of fun and it gets stuff done. So, so the thing that I would like to, you know, suggest is um, it's good to have those big goals and those dreams and, and to work on those in general, but I would strongly recommend making these super tiny goals because um, while each of these goals may not be um, like that much in and of itself and, you know, might, you might not learn that much if, um, like say, okay, so the, the goal I'm doing right now for this week is... Um, listening to an hour of Japanese every day for a week for seven days. That might not be very much. I mean, it's not really, but you know, it's a start. I've kind of um, lost the habit of immersing myself in Japanese. So it's a start to force myself one hour every day. Um, and then, you know, it does add up. These things stack up. So even though they're very, very tiny goals, um, they stack up. So they do amount to something. And um, what I think is good about making them so tiny is they're, they're so doable. They're, they're, if you make them almost too easy to accomplish, it's just, you'll get them done like that. And the whole point is accomplishing something. Um, not necessarily making a big celebration for something minor per se, but just recognizing the fact that you're making some kind of progress, I think is super important. Um, I mean, in the, and you just making it kind of official to yourself. If you write down a goal and it's completely doable, but then you accomplish that goal, you know, you sort of keep that promise to yourself, then you'll be able to, you know, trust yourself more and just feel like you're capable of doing more. Um, at least that's how, what I'm going through. I feel more positive, more motivated, and it, I've been doing this for several weeks now and it hasn't died down yet. So, um, like I said, a lot of times I go through phases where I get motivated and then, like, dies down again. And I'm not saying this is going to, like, my motivation is going to last forever. Um, but so far, this has been a really good system for me where... Every week, and it doesn't have to be like, like usually just during the weekend, I think about, oh, what do I want to work on this week? Um, and I have several goals going on at the same time. But every week, I just try and think of something new. Um, if I think of something else that I really want to work on during the week, I might add on to it. But I just, I don't want to overwhelm myself, and I want to keep it, like, uh, consistent. So um, that's what I'm doing. And I don't know, I'm probably not going to, like I was thinking, maybe I should like vlog about um, each of my goals each week and just say how I'm doing and stuff. I might do that. Um, we'll see. That does take a lot of time. If you're interested, let me know. And yeah, let me know what, um, what goals you might have, like, especially when it comes, um, well, when it comes to Japanese learning, of course, um, I'm always, I love to hear new tips and, and study suggestions, like I'm still learning myself. And just stuff in general, like wellness. Um, one thing I think I'm going to try doing is get myself to drink more water. Um, because that's just something I don't really think about. And it's not that difficult to do to just drink more water. I just don't think about it. So to write it down um, helps a lot. So if you guys have any ideas like that, um, I just, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I, I, I think it's a system that's really working for me, but what do you guys think? Tiny goals. Big ones are good too, but, but the tiny ones add up. So yeah, that's kind of all I have for you today. I'll, again, check out lifetick.com. It helped inspire me, and um, maybe you'll find success with that too. So yeah, I'm going to go grocery shopping now, and I will talk to you guys later.